Hello everyone, this is CHG, aka Game Gamer, and welcome to our brand new game room tour. And for everything all settled in and all the other stuff, and since everything all setting up and all the other stuff, and I will do a new game room tour for you guys. And the last place that I had in the old house and all that stuff, everything all cluttered in and all that stuff, all cramped and all that stuff. You can't even, you can't even walk and all that stuff. And this place right here is a lot more bigger and more expandier than I expected and all that stuff. And I set up some, some uh, stuff and all that stuff and make more room and all that stuff to walk in and all that other stuff. So, so anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the room tour. I'm not going to waste any time on talking about most of the stuff because you've seen it in the past game room and all that stuff. So, and show you how to change it and all that stuff is so much more. So, so anyway, we're not wasting any time. Let's get on with it. Over here, right here, is a brand new bed. And all that stuff. It's a lot bigger than my old bed and all that stuff. And there's my uh, gaming uh, blanket and all that stuff I still have. And all that stuff. And there's my bed and all that stuff. And there's a, a foundation and all that stuff. And the cool thing about it is they have drawers in it. Like drawers two drawers on the left two drawers on the right and two drawers on the front and so in this drawer right here and all that stuff is all of my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards my Pokemon card binder and my anime um, uh, drawings and my uh, tablet and do my gameplays and discussions and all that stuff and then my switch case in this drawer right here all that stuff so so yeah there's that drawer right here and so the other drawers in the later on and then over here, all that is my closet right here, and all that stuff. It's a brand new closet, and all that stuff. And my right side over there is so boring, and all that stuff. And my clothes, my hat, my jacket, and all that stuff. So, but in this left closet right here, all that stuff. Here is all of my Naruto stuff up there in my closet. So, here are all my Naruto stuff, and I also have over here. Then uh, here is all of my anime and not anime. Uh, here's my manga shelf and all that stuff. I show you anime, made DVDs collection later on. So here's my mangas and all that stuff that I collected over the years from my teenage years through my high school years and my uh, adult years and all that stuff. So and here's the two Monopoly board games and all that stuff. And the Uno cards and all that stuff. Kids like family want to come over and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. Then down here and all that stuff. It's still here and stuff. All my uh, basketball, all my sports jerseys and all that stuff. Mixed with some basketball, football, hockey and all that stuff. And over here all that stuff. All my uh, gaming shirts and, and all of my anime clothes and all that other stuff. And then down over here, all this up, some shoes and all this stuff, nothing special over here. And then over here, I still have my DDR dance mat for the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. And you can see right here, I uh, see the glimpse right here in my guitar for my guitar for guitar here for PS2. So yeah, there is that. So that is the closet right here. Then down here and all that stuff, I did my uh, frame uh, jerseys and all that stuff that I still have and all that stuff. And just like the old game room, they 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 uh, still have it and all that stuff. It's still good to the day. All that nothing broken. All that stuff. He all in the frame jerseys of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. So yeah, there is that. And down here and all that other stuff is this stuff right here is a little, little bit different and all that stuff. I gotta be doing a little bit of recordings in this area right here and all that stuff when I do my videos and all that other stuff. But this is a, this is my entire gaming shelf and all that other stuff. And so so yeah, so there is that. So let me go up to the top first and all that stuff. Here's all of my Nintendo Nintendo collectibles and all that other stuff. Mario, Pokemon, Kirby, and all the other stuff and there's the uh, the super mario all-star 25th anniversary i got on the wii i got for like christmases like in 2010 so have that 
there's the SAR link on the Nintendo Switch and then the bottom here is my Nintendo Switch box then my 2D box and all that stuff and there's the, uh, the Pokemon 2000 toys that I got for Burger King as a kid and here all my uh, Sonic stuff and all that stuff is so so yeah there is that and wondering what these and all the other stuff though it's a Pixel Pals I got for Target for like five or six years ago and these uh, look good in the game room and all that stuff and those are rare now so expensive now and all that stuff so in case you don't know and what Pixel Pals is and all that stuff uh, this is like the bright light things and all that stuff if I show you those right now and all that stuff hold on for a second they turn on bright and all that stuff which is a really cool cool game thing in the game room and all that stuff so if you don't like a game room to be like special so retro -y and all that stuff I highly recommend these Pixel Pals and all that stuff they, so they have so fairy variations like Mario, Sonic, Street Fighter and all that stuff so so yeah there is that all right, so that's it for the top of the shelf. Now go on with the bottom shelf. So we'll get everybody waiting for and that is the game. And like this year and all that stuff, I, I decided to a little bit downsizing my collection and all that stuff. But if you saw, if you haven't seen my uh, in the community tab, uh, downsizing my collection and all that stuff. If you've seen those pictures and all that stuff, be sure to check it in my uh, community tab. Anyway, so here is all my Nintendo stuff right here. Here is my uh, NES collection which I don't really collect for it much anymore yeah NES is one of the, the systems I did grew up playing as a kid and all that stuff but you know I have so much respect and nostalgia for for people and all that stuff later on in life so yeah there is that there's the NES collection and now this is a bulk of beef of my uh uh, so what sorry I gave me for me and all that stuff that is my Super Nintendo collection this is the first gaming system that I first got, first got to when I first started to gaming and all that stuff to show my passion and love for video games so Super Nintendo has plus so much place in my heart and all that stuff Super Mario World is one of those uh, games that, have, that got me into gaming or showing my love for video games as a kid and all that stuff so yeah there is that so here's my Super Nintendo collection uh, some of my childhood games, some of the games I bought over the years and all that stuff. On the Donkey Kongs. The NBA Jams. The Marios. The Mortal Kombats. And so much more. And here is the uh, the box copies of uh, F-Zero. Complete in box. Star Fox Complete in box. And Super Mario All Star Complete in box, and here is the uh, the Super Mario All Star slash Super Mario World uh, combo pack that I still have as a kid and all that stuff. And then right here and all that stuff that is Earth Down. This is a repro copy of the game and all that stuff. Even though it doesn't work and all that with my console and all that stuff, and I still mean I still I could play on my uh, Super Nintendo Classic and all that stuff. So. So yeah, there is that. So that is the Super Nintendo collection. Then right over here and all that there's my N64 collection. Um, nothing changed except for one game and all that stuff. Here is my Nintendo 64 collection. Cocker Bad Fur Day, the Cruising Games, the Donkey Kong Games, Golden Out 007, Killer Instinct, Zelda Majora's Mask, the Mario's, and Mario 64 right here. There's more right here to it. All the classics and all this up. Some of the games I had as a kid, some of them bought over the years and all that stuff. And here's a box copy of Kobe Bryant and NBA Court side in the uh, protected case and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. So there is the N64 collection right here. Now over here is my GameCube collection. Nothing new over here. All the Zeldas, all the Marios, all the Sonics. Some major titles up in here. Some of them I had as a teenager. Some of them I had in high school and all that stuff. Some of them I somewhat bought over the years and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. Here's my Nintendo Switch collection right over here. 
little small collection and all that, but it will grow layer, 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 layer on as the time goes on. And down here and all this stuff in the second half of the shelf is my Nintendo Wii collection. There's the PS1 collection right here. Then down over here and all that stuff, that is my PS2 collection. There's a box and complete called Ninja Assault Classic Arcade Shooter. And there the uh, the pop figures of Crash Bandicoot from Crash to uh, Cortez Strike Back and Spiral right there. So yeah, there is that. So that's it all for the PlayStation stuff. And then on the bottom right here and all that stuff, that is the original Xbox and my Xbox 360 collection. A little bit of downsides for that too and all that stuff. So here is the games, all the Halos, Def Jam 5 from New York is so expensive now, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, The Prince of Persia's, and then uh, that's it for the original Xbox, it's only the 360 collection now, uh, the Bioshock, got the Borderlands, Call of Duty Marvel Warfare, the original, and Marvel Warfare 2. This is one of the best Call of Duty games, in my opinion. 3 was meh, and all that stuff, but those two right there, it has so much nostalgia with. There's the Dead Alive games, Fable 2 and 3, the Gears of War games, Halo games, of course, Left 4 Dead 2, Red Dead Redemption. Skyrim and all the Sonic games and other stuff. So yeah, there is that. So that is for the uh, Xbox session. So yeah, there is that. So that's it for this gaming shelf right here. This is the only gaming shelf I have and all other stuff. And so, so move on on to the next one and all other stuff that is on top right here. This is my Street Fighter 2 Championship Arcade Marquee that I still have to this day and all other stuff. And it's up in the wall and all that other stuff. So it's really, really, really cool piece of having the game right here. Bring that, that nostalgic 90 feeling to it and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. And now here and all that other stuff, that is the TV, my retro big TV I still have for like a couple, couple years and all that stuff. You know, I saw some damages and all that other stuff. It still works and all that other stuff and all that stuff. So playing my uh, retro games and all the other stuff and so before i get to get down get down over here for my uh, ps3 ps4 and ps5 collection and all that stuff so let's go on to the, 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 the top of the tv and then down here is my uh um ps3 controller and here is the uh two remotes and all that stuff this is my own remote for the tv it really even working on our stuff and then i bought this replacement right here i got on ebay and all that stuff it was really really Rare to hard to find this remote to connect to the TV and all that other stuff. But if I could turn it on and all that stuff, it still works like a champ and all that other stuff. It's so, so, so yeah. So I have this big TV for a really, really long, long time 15 plus years ago and all that. It still work like a champ and all that other stuff to play my uh, retro games and all that other stuff. So yeah, there is that. Then over here is my Wii remote and my Xbox 360 controller right here. And yeah, those are the top, those are the top of the things on the top of the TV. And let's show you the size of the TV all that stuff. So then over here is my uh, PS3 right here, my PS3 Slim right here. Then the uh, the original Xbox, not original Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 Slim 
and all that stuff. They only have like touchy. They have like a touch button and all the other stuff. So yeah, there is that. And that is for my Nintendo Wii and all that stuff. I still have like Christmas of 2009 or stuff. Still working today or stuff. I can play my Wii games and my GameCube games. So I'll have to bust out my um, um, GameCube to play my GameCube games on and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. And also for the PS3 and all that stuff, I could play my PS1 games as well and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. And down here and all that stuff is my uh, big PS2. Still working condition and all that stuff. I still have my uh, PS2 I had as a kid and all that stuff from my uh, uh, teenage days and my high school days and all that stuff. And there's a gun, Con 2 gun over here from my uh, light gun game from my Time Crisis and Vampire Night and Ninja Assault and all that stuff. And there's a controller for the PS2. Then over here and all that stuff, that is my uh, Retron 2. And I'm still working like a champ and all that stuff. And got this thing around like 2017. Since my Super Nintendo broke and all that stuff. So what a better way alternative and all that stuff. So, so... So I got the Retron 2. It had played NES games and Super Nintendo games and all that stuff. It's still working like a champ to this day. I have no problem with it and all that stuff. It still play games to this day and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. And I, here is the original Xbox right here. And my childhood Nintendo 64 right here. So yeah, there is that. And here is that is the uh, the retro setup right here and all that stuff. So so yeah there is that and then down here at the down here at the bottom of my entertainment center my retro entertainment center is my uh, ps3 games i'm not going to talk about them there's my uh, ps4 games more on this side right here And there are the PS5 games. The PS5 collection is a little bit small and other stuff, but it will be growing out later, later, later on and as time goes on and all that stuff. So yeah, there is that. Then down right here, my two front drawers and all that stuff. This drawer right here and also all all my all the paperwork, all that you don't need to show that. And this drawer right here and all that stuff. Let's see, I can open it. Is is my is my, all my controllers and all that stuff. Like every time I record a video or I want, or I want to play a game and all that stuff, I could grab a controller right here and all that stuff instead of like digging a box of true glad controllers and all that stuff. So all I do is just pull out the drawer, grab a controller and all that stuff, hook it up and all that stuff, and be ready, ready to go and all that other stuff. So. So yeah, so those are my controllers right here and all that stuff from NES, Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, and Xbox right here and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. And this drawer right here and all that other stuff. And that is my uh, Wii U collection right here. I still have a Wii U, and I'm gonna show you on in a minute. And my childhood uh, Game Boy Advance games, and there are more right here, and loose ones in the tote right here. And my uh, childhood uh, Game Boy Advance SP, and my Game Boy Color, and my uh, 2DS right here in this case right here. And here on the DS games, and my 3DS games right here, and all that stuff. So. So yeah, so that is this drawer right here and all that stuff. It leaves my uh, Wii U collection and my uh, childhood Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. Want three of them in the box right here. Those are my childhood copies, and those more right here in this Pokemon tote right here and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. Then right here, hanging out at the top of the wall and all that stuff, that is my Bel Air Academy uh, Will Smith 14 basketball jersey. Still a really, really good condition to this day. And all that stuff, no dirty and all that stuff. So that's hanging up the wall right there and all that stuff. And then top of this is another, another, another um, 
Billy shop bookcases and all the other stuff. On top of that, it, all my uh, pop culture stuff from from my Funko Pop, from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Um, these two energy drinks my lizard got me for Christmas. The uh, Dragon Ball Z uh, silver um, figurine I got at Burger King as a kid and all that stuff. There's more stuff in the back right here and all that stuff. My, my Buzz Lightyear and Nemo Monsters Inc. and some Space Jam uh, plushies from McDonald's from 1996 back in the day. Uh, Buzz and Taz and all that stuff. I hear all of the stuff right here and all that stuff, some music icons and all of that stuff. So I'm not gonna fully deep explain it too much and all that other stuff. I, stuff yeah, I was explaining the uh, old game room and all that stuff. So so here it is right here. And here's Luffy from One Piece figurine right here and all that stuff. So so yeah, there is that. And over here is my movies and all that stuff. Uh VHS, DVD and all the other stuff. And more right here in the, in the bottom right here. The, all the uh, the Kobe Bryant stuff. Then so some TV show collection right here and more VHS collection right here. And on the bottom right here and all that stuff and all of my gaming books and all that stuff all my cartoons and anime mixed together and all that stuff you can see a glimpse right here you can see in the bottom right here all like stacking up and all that stuff yeah so all of my gaming magazines all my gaming books and all that stuff so I have my old school um Game Informers and Nintendo Power for the early 2000s and all that other stuff. Bring back so many memory reading those, all that from the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube era. And the Nintendo Powers from the early 2000s as well and all that other stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. So, that is the up on shelf right here and all that stuff. But that's it for the Entertainment Center right here and all that other stuff. So, let's take a quick setback right here. So yeah, there is that. Let's move on to the next section. In this corner right here and all the other stuff is here in my laundry basket right here. And this box right here and all the other stuff is that is by a store my uh, PS4, the original PlayStation, my original GameCube, my childhood uh, plug and plays, my Pac-Man plug and play, and my uh, second Genesis plug and play and all the other stuff. And all of it in this box right here, and also my Wii U in there, and all the other stuff. So, so all the, all my past consoles and all the other stuff is all stored in this box right here. And the uh, this separate sec sec and this box right here and all the other stuff, and all my missing lane and stuff and all the other stuff. And this top box right here is all, all my controllers and all the stuff. When people coming over and all the other stuff, they can grab a controller from the box and all the stuff and hook it and all the stuff. And after they leave and all the stuff, they can hook, they plug it, plug it off and all the stuff and put it back in the box. So it make it more convenient and all the stuff than having it in your drawer and all the stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. And over here is my uh, yearbooks and all the stuff. And there's a special right here. And over here is my uh, uh, martyr setup from the do my martyr gaming and all the other stuff. Uh, so here is my PS5 right here and all that stuff. And you haven't seen my uh, the, my uh, thoughts about my PS5 and all that other stuff. Be sure to check it out on my channel. So so there is the PS5 and all that stuff. Basically, you can play PS4 games on here and all that stuff. And that's why my PS4 uh, put away in the box and all that stuff, like what I showed you just now. And so I have my PS5 right here and all of that other stuff. So. So yeah, so you have to see my my thoughts on the PS5 and all that stuff. Be sure to check it out on my channel. So here is the uh, the monitor TV right here. That I do some watch some streaming and all that other stuff. Then over here and all that is my VHS players. You could watch like VHS tapes and all that stuff that are not on streaming and 
all of her stuff. So basically, I saw in those Bleedly Book shows and all that, on some of my TV shows and all of her stuff that are not on streaming and all that stuff. I'm glad I still have it on DVD and all that stuff in case the internet comes out and all that. I don't have like streaming, much streaming and all that other stuff. I can still watch the TV shows physical on DVD and all that stuff. So, so yeah, there is that. And over here is my Nintendo Switch. It got at 2018 when Smash Ultimate released and all that other stuff. And there is a GameCube adapter for it for the uh, yeah, Nintendo Switch and all that stuff. So, and then here is a VHS player and all that other stuff that still works like a champ. And here's my drawer and all that stuff with clothes and all that stuff. Nothing important over here. Then top of here and all that stuff. That is the uh, the pictures I put up right here at the top of this wall right here. And here it is. Some sports icons. Uh, Michael Jordan. The late great Kobe Bryant. And here are my favorite team from the 90s and all that stuff. Baseball team from the 90s where I'm born and raised at. That is the New York Yankees and all that stuff. So yeah, Jared Jeter was the GOAT. And then down over here and all that stuff, some of my pictures, my childhood stuff, pictures, and all that stuff that they point over here. No need to show that. And there's the new setup right here and all the other stuff. And that is my uh, new setup right here. So I could put my laptop and all that stuff, record some videos and all the other stuff right here and all that stuff. So this is a cool, cool setup right here. And last but not least, uh, there's my pictures right here also. I still have my uh, my custom made New York Czech football jersey I still have for my birthday like almost like like seven years ago and all that other stuff. So yeah, there's that. And last but not least, this Super Mario Kart picture at top of my uh, 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 foundation bed and all that other stuff. So, so yeah, so really, really cool to have these in the uh, new bedroom size game room and all that other stuff. So, so yeah. There is that. So that is it, you guys, for the brand new Game Room Tour of 2024. This is way, way better than the old one, in my opinion, and all that other stuff. Tell me a comment below what you think of this new Game Room and all that other stuff. And so I could be doing a lot more recordings up in here and all that other stuff. And do brand, brand new ideas for the, this room for years, years to come and all that other stuff. So, so make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. You want to follow for my upcoming videos? Check out my Facebook fan page. The Facebook fan page is going to be linked in the description down below. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much. And goodbye.